Hey guys, welcome to the reading. I'm going to, oh, what's this? I know I hurt you, I don't wanna do it again. Okay, so I was gonna do a love reading. Someone may have recently hurt you or has hurt you in the past. This person's still in your energy for some reason. Possibly because you two are learning lessons from each other. Let's find out. I'm going to use my Situations Oracle deck and then clarify with Tarot, okay? Remember to flip the roles. I try to be general, but sometimes I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but I try to, okay? And um, did I already say they're for entertainment purposes only, okay? So I know what comes out. What is um, going on with the collective and their relationship? be silence. Someone could not be speaking. There's no action being taken at this time. There is a faded meeting coming in for someone and nightlife. Someone is being asked to take a risk. Something is meant to be. There is some sort of predestined, predetermined encounter here. This could either be like no action is needed at this time or there's no action being taken at this time. The bottom of the deck we have threatened intervention anxiety divine feminine roller coaster okay so something here has been up and down and confusing for someone okay What's cricket? What's cricket? Silence, non-actions, please. Oh my God, I can't talk. Couldn't talk in the last reading either. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so we have the six of pearls in the re in the reverse. Um, this is like six of pentacles in the reverse. So this is someone. Um, this person could be a swindler. <laughs> okay. Um, something. Someone could be taking or trying to take something from you or take someone something from someone. This person is pretty, it could be very inhumane, all right? What's the six of pearls in the reverse? Two of cups in the reverse over a faded meeting in the, oh. Someone is trying to cancel something for someone. All right. They could not want you to meet someone. They could not, they, they want something to be like, to not go through, to not happen. There's a separation between you and someone. You could feel pretty isolated from someone at this time, especially with the silence on action. This person could maybe, I don't know if they're, um, I don't know if they're like denying the connection or... There's been a delay here, and it's like, this person is showing upright as the king of pearls, all right? And we have the contact card, which is definitely, um, it's definitely a soulmate card. But this person, someone here is frustrated. Something isn't happening very quick. Um, I feel like whoever this is, when they tend to get frustrated, they just kind of look the other way. And kind of go, well, I can't do anything about it right now, so I'm just not going to think about it. Okay. Um, so maybe they're just not wanting to talk right now because they're feeling like if they talk to you, it kind of... Whenever this person speaks to you, I'm getting they like... It excites them. You know what I mean? And I feel like because something can't happen, it... They don't like feeling excited and not having anything happen. That's <laughs> kind of what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, they're frustrated as heck. Knight of Wands in reverse. They're kind of misdirecting their passionate energy as well. 
Page of Swords. But they're very curious. They're very curious. This could be an air sign with the Page of Swords. There's change coming here to the situation. We have a butterfly. Um, so they're wa I see them watching you. I see them wanting to speak to you, but they're just kind of like distracting themselves right now. This person, they can have narcissistic tendencies, okay? Air signs kind of do that sometimes. Yeah, collective consciousness. Age of Aquarius is here. I'm going to find out more. Why, Spirit, why is this person not speaking? Yeah. More about being ghosted. Okay. For some of you, there are addictions here that are playing a, playing a part. Okay, this could be sex, drugs, alcohol. Okay? Doesn't matter what the addiction is. Um, this could also just be addiction to toxic attachments, toxic feelings. Um... This person is feeling incredibly lost without you. I, I want to say they're spiraling, okay? They're spiraling hard um, at this time, unfortunately. This person is ready to explode, though. Like, they're, there's some sort of really explosive energy within this person, and it, it's about to, to get to that point, okay? Like... I'm not getting self-sabotaging behavior, although the ghosting kind of is, but I do want to say this, like, this person is not directing their anger towards you. I'm getting it's, like, uh, other people. Like, they're very easy to aggravate at this time, okay? Um, they could also be feeling extremely jealous about you. What else? Magnetic. Yeah, they're, they feel, the magnetic kind of, see, I don't like how it flew over addiction, they could feel addicted to you as well, um, but they do have an explainable, unexplainable pull towards you. They cannot resist how you feel. How you feel. I don't know why I just said that. They cannot resist how you feel. So for some of you, they really love the way you feel. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, I want to get... Do I want to get one of these? Oh no, I want to actually continue with this one. So what's the addiction? What's the addiction? Whatever it is, it's very hidden. Okay. Um, very hidden. It's not something this person talks about. Okay. So we have the moon in reverse with the eight of cups. Okay. Here we go. So this person has a bit of an escapism type of addiction, okay? So whenever they're feeling a certain way, they tend to use escapism type of tactics and they, whatever their addiction is, it's their escape, their way to escape. It could be sex, right? It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be like all three or just two of them. Um... This person has been majorly disappointed in their life, um, majorly. This, this is giving me like the, the characteristics of someone who's actually very unhappy in their life. Um, I mean, they do have moments of happiness, obviously, like everyone does, but if, if I had to give a ratio, it would be like, uh, you know, maybe it's like 60% happy, 40% unhappy, which is a lot of percentage to be unhappy, okay? 40% is almost 50%. That's almost like one day is good, one day is bad. I'm kind of getting it's like two days good, one day is bad. But when it's bad, it's like really bad. And they're like, I know this can change, but I don't know how I can get there. Um, this person is uh, really repressing their emotions for you. And, and it keeps them constantly in inner turmoil. Like... Like, it, it's, they're, they don't even tell people, like, they don't tell anyone about this feeling they have for you. They don't make it on, like, no one would know. 
They're always watching you though. Like they're, they always have their eye on you. This person knows that something here is meant to be, but they're being really triggered right now. For some of you, they're being triggered at like the worst time too, because this could be right before something is supposed to happen. Yeah, again with repressed emotions, this person really needs to let them out. Okay, what's the, um, I do want to find out, what is this gamble, take a risk, Vegas? What is this? This person could be drinking a lot right now. Oh, Someone here is being called to be genuine. Maybe that's what take a risk is, what's unconditional? Music. Music could be very healing to someone at this time. Um, someone here also finds like your voice really nice. Like it's, um, I don't want to say it like puts them to sleep, but it kind of puts them into like a state of like hypnotism in a way. Like they could, I don't know. It's like they listen to your voice somehow. Archangel Michael. Okay. What's the nightlife with unconditional? Un insatiable, yeah. Someone here, you know, and here's the other thing. Because, okay, for some of you, legit, this person does have a little bit of a problem, okay? They do have this, like, whole void issue. Like, they feel like they have a void to fill. They may feel like you fill that void, um, but really, and you might. But the, the important thing is when we have voids like this, like, it's not because we need someone or something. It's because there's something in ourself where there's, like, a black hole. And it's, like, it, it's, it's constantly, like, eating us inside until we realize that there is no black hole. This is it. This is life. You know what I mean? Like... But when you're experiencing this black hole feeling, it's like you're constantly trying to fill it with alcohol, drugs, people, sex. And there's nothing wrong with having lots of sex. Okay, that I don't really feel like, I mean, as long as it's like, what, what am I trying to say? Moderated, like, not like every day or like, what am I trying to say? Moderation is key, right, to everything. But, I don't know. They also, like, really, it's like this energy of really wanting you, but also really, really giving in to their toxic traits at this time. It's it's too bad, honestly. Okay. All right, so what's, what's this? Three of Cups. Yeah, Three of Cups can speak of, like, way too much, um... Way too much fun, especially with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Cups is definitely giving someone giving in to sexual desires, okay? Um, like a whole heck of a lot. Alright, like this person, they could kind of be, I don't know if they're not talking to you and like talking to other people because talking to you hurts or talking to you is, this person knows they can't talk to you when they're in this toxic energy. So you guys don't seem like you're in like a real relationship, but like, not like a real relationship, but what am I trying to say? Like a traditional relationship? Receipts, proof, show me. And I feel like this person as well is also really suspicious of you right now. Like they think you're fucking a lot of people or something. Probably because you can and probably because they are literally in everyone's DMs is kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> and they regret it. They're in like deep regret about this. Again with the, uh, I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. Oh. This is so, yes, this person has an addictive personality, but it's too, 
it's okay you know what I'm getting it's like they're addicted to that new feeling you get when you meet new people like that rush right they're addicted to that um but it never satisfies them it, if it does go somewhere it doesn't really get to where they want it's like it never finishes or something like n like it never finishes it never they never get that hole filled okay Someone's name could be Greta. What's the regret? Interview. Talk, conversation, get on the same page. I feel like someone here really needs to apologize for something. Like, legitimately apologize. Like, hold your hand and look you in the eyes and say, you know what? I really fucked up and I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Like, do you actually forgive me? Like, someone here kind of needs to beg for your forgiveness is kind of what I'm getting. Like, to show you that they actually give a shit, you know? This person, they could... I'm getting, like, on the weekends, they kind of, like, lay in bed and don't really do much. Or on their days off, this is what they do. They want a commitment with you, but they're like, they're stuck in this, like, they're stuck in this, like, whirlwind of negativity of their own brain fucking with them. This person is about to confess to you something. They're about to tell you probably, oh my god, I love you. I'm so sorry. Like, please forgive me. I, I never imagined I would ever hurt someone like this. What's the verge about to reveal confess? Nine of Swords, yeah. They're about to tell you that they're in absolute torment without you. This person could be like, um, and nothing wrong with this, but this person could be like in so much pain that like they will randomly cry and they don't even know why because they're not the type of person to cry. This could be an air sign here with the swords or cups. This could be a Pisces or no, this is, is that Scorpio, Cancer. I don't know. <sighs> Someone here thinks you put a spell on them. The uh, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Like, they think you may have put a spell on them. That's their... This person's so fucked up that they think you put a spell on them. <laughs> like, what? Meanwhile, you're probably just sitting there like, I've just been sitting here being myself, so I don't know what you're talking about. But, like... They feel like, oh my god, this is funny. This is actually funny now. This person feels like they're going crazy. They may have even like reached out to a, like a therapist because they're like, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like always crying now and... You know, when I think about this person, no matter what I do, I try and I, I try and go on other dates. I try and do this. I try and do that. But it doesn't, I can't forget this person. It's driving me nuts. It's reminding me of that movie um, uh, with Jim Carrey and What's-Her-Face. Um, sun, sun, something about the spotless mind or something like it, sunshine of the spotless. Is that what it's called? Either way, it's like, you know, in the movie, they both like have intertwined each other so much in their minds that they want to get it, the memory removed of the person. <sighs> it's really sad. Okay, I think I have spiders crawling on my legs, sorry. <laughs> so Spirit, what's, the, what's this person's next action? What's this, this person's next action? What are they going to do next towards collective? Okay, so ton of pearls in reverse can mean take a risk, okay? This can mean take a risk with you, but it kind of like fell over the addiction, so now I'm kind of worried, but let's see. I better not do what I think they're going to do. Oh boy. All right, so what's the Ten of Pearls in reverse?
Ace of Pearls. Okay, hold on a second. We have a specific message coming. Okay, so they are going to take a risk and it's going to be good because they see some sort of prosperous energy coming from you and they're going to go after it. Secret crush. Okay. So, the Ace of Pearls flew over Secret Crush. Hold on a second. Now I just got another uh, message, but let's see. What's the Ace of Pearls with the Secret Crush? All right, yeah, they are going to come in. They're going to come in. I don't like how they look at you as an obsession, though. That's not healthy. <laughs> it's really not healthy. So this person is going to gamble something here, and they are going to take a risk on you. They, you know what sucks here about this person is they think that they think that you're bad for them, <laughs> but you're not. You're not bad for them. This person will, it's annoying because I don't feel like they're ever going to tell you how much you mean to them, but you'll be able to see it in their eyes, you know, and the way they touch you. Okay. I mean, someday this person may tell you, but I'm kind of getting like TikTok time running out. I feel like this person is going to text message you at some point soon. I don't feel like you need to worry about that, but I do feel like this person, because you seem like you are like a bad thing for them, it's like, you know, if this person's in a relationship, um, or they're getting out of a relationship or something, they could be worried. I'm almost feeling like this person feels like you can destroy them somehow. Not like by things they've done, but I'm kind of getting, they're like, if I let this person close, if I let this person really close, they're going to destroy me. But the thing is now is like, if you really walked away right now, they would be destroyed. 100%. There would be nothing stopping them from being destroyed from that if you walked away now. So I don't know who they think they're fooling. You know what I mean? It's not me, that's for sure. So, you know, this person really needs like a dose of reality. You know, it's like, dude, ma'am, whoever you are. You need to realize that you're going to be destroyed either way <laughs> if you think that's what's going to happen. If Collective walks away from you now, it's not going to make a difference from if they walked away from you if you did something else. You're know, Like if you really, really like decided to give in to them. It doesn't matter. And you know, you know what? I'm getting you wouldn't walk away from them. At least for like long, you know, you might have to put up boundaries sometimes, but I'm not getting that you're, you would ever like ever do anything that toxic to this person. Like, cause you love them. Okay. All right. So what's some advice for collective? Oh, I really like that. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job. This whole, uh, this whole living thing. So, you know, no matter what happens in this situation, you know, definitely give yourself credit for how long you've come in this, in this, whatever this is. Like, I feel like you actually uh, could have really helped this person in some weird way. Like, maybe you've helped them awaken or something. Bet yourself, bet on yourself, take chances, reach your, uh, reach dreams. You've got this. Oh my God, why can't I talk? See, again with the black hole. Through that back black hole, though, is like another universe. It's like, take a chance on this feeling you get. Maybe that's a, mes that's a message for your person. Like, if, if they are feeling this way, um, they're going to be taking a chance soon. They see that there's, like, another, like, world of possibilities with you. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, look around and find some signs. The universe is speaking to you. So at this time, you know, especially when it comes to music, songs that are on the radio or that come on like your YouTube history or whatever, YouTube feed, um, or just like birds, um, and other animals, numbers, if you hear someone's name, like these are all signs from the universe. 
something about like the why am I getting the chord D like the D chord something about letter D the D chord something like that all right guys that was your reading I hope you enjoyed bye